Turning now to college football. Winners on the road in week one, the 16th ranked Oregon State Beavers return to Corvallis and a revamped home stadium. The Beavs hosting UC Davis for their second of three non-conference games. It was Beaver Nation's first look at the new West Side stands and the premium seating at Reeser Stadium. The $161 million expansion project took 20 months to complete and it now completes the raising of Reeser with a full 360 degree concourse, which they're calling Beaver Street. On the field, Oregon State flat out dominated the Aggies from start to finish. They won um, and they're now 2-0, and putting on quite a show for their diehard fans. Fun uh, to get out there and have that energy, the atmosphere, all the lead up and all the hard work that has gotten us to this point. And then, yeah, we started fast as a team for the crowd, got them into it from the from the get go. So it was special. Anyway, I've been around this place. It's been pretty electric. I think there was great energy. It just felt like a lot of movement going on. You could just feel the crowd kind of walking around Beaver Street and and that obviously pretty locked in on, on the game itself. But it's always awesome. when We got our home crowd behind us. Ooh, great win for the Beavers. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was in Corvallis for the season opener amidst the backdrop of the new look to the stadium and this final season of the Pac-12 as we know it. Go Beavs maybe never meant more. At least it felt that way for OSU's home opener here at a place they hadn't been since the end of November when they beat the Ducks. Go Beavs! OSU, our hard hats off to you. I think it's fantastic. It's, it's going to take us places for sure. Cushion seats, plenty of leg room, and a beaver walk to roam the entire dam. Those clad in orange and black are keeping their teeth sharp in the ever-changing force of big-time college sports. It's just a big like advancement for us make us look better than the ducks, you know. The 2023 Beavers should be darn good hunting ducks and all their soon to be former Pac-12 rivals. It's going to be uh, a wonderful season, but going to be kind of sad. Not looking forward to the end of it. Beaver Nation is fired up as ever, and they have a right to fight with that tail slap at the ref of what was the Conference of Champions. I know our people are going to get the job done. They're going to get us in the best conference that we can get into. We're, I think we're going to be a Power Five still because we deserve it. Well, it's a, a tremendous uh, accomplishment to put something like this together, but I'm not sure how we're going to keep paying for it uh, if we have to go to another level. That's what worries me is going to a, another conference uh, Something below a power of five, that could be bad. Well, the new west side of Reeser has a big bill to come due. The Beavs are not on their way through to a new reality of what we've always known and grown to adore for more than a century. Make the Ducks feel bad that they left us hanging. Sort of the Huskies, the Trojans, the, Huskies, the everybody. everybody, man. And the only ones that we like now, I can't believe I'm saying it, are the Cougars. We're in it together. It's a dog fight. We're going to beat the dogs. Corvallis is community, and the Beavers unite, forming a front with their land-grant university friends in Pullman, in what soon left of the Pac-2. A lot of energy nationwide for the Beavers and the Cougars. America's and teams. America's are, yeah, I mean, everybody realizes it was an unfortunate, I'll use kind words, uh, unfortunate mess that didn't have to happen, but here we are, we'll figure it out. Oregon State remains home for week three with Mountain West Conference. San Diego State it's going to be right here at Reach Stadium and in that first Pac-12 game in the Palouse against the Cougs. In Corvallis, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.